Okay, Jenny, here's how we do the jacket. Um, there's some patches on there. If you don't want them, you can take them off because they're Velcro backed like this. Make sure, though, you use two hands, not like I'm doing here, to prise them apart because this Velcro here is just stuck on with adhesive. It's not sewn in, so if you just yank it, the whole thing's going to come off, so just be gentle. But they, they do all come off. See, that one's in three parts, so... Like I say, use two hands and you'll be fine. So if you don't want them, I think they all, I think they're all removable. Uh, apart from that one, that's sewn on, and these two will come off, and those two will come off as well. Um, so the jacket zips up. The collar, there's a collar on top. When I used it, I just tucked it in inwards like that, so you can't see it. And then I think I did the zip up to the top. And the, the button doesn't doesn't fix either. Um, now there's some Velcro here, which is for when you've done the jacket up, you can uh, put the front pack on, which is this thing, it kind of sits there like that. So get it on her first, zip it up, and then just line it up as best you can and press down hard on her tummy and uh, the Velcro should, should stick it. Okay, uh, again, just be careful when you remove it so it doesn't yank the Velcro up. So that's that. Um, okay, I've got these things on here which I've made. I've already put them on for you. Uh, they go over the arms. She should be able to slip straight in there. Um, they're quite delicate, but it shouldn't be a problem. Um, there's some cuffs here. I've rolled them up just to keep that in place. You can roll them down, and when they're down, the next thing you want to do is put, th put this on. Okay, I think it goes... Well, go whichever way you want, really. I think I put them on that way with this big fat white bit facing facing down. So they go on, it's just like a cuff piece. And then once that's done, you can uh, put the gloves on her. The gloves are quite tight. She won't have great movement in the hands or anything, but good enough to grip and stuff. And uh, this piece, I, I pretty much think that's covered by that plastic bit I just showed you. Um, so that's, yeah, that's that's the jacket then. The, the trousers are quite straightforward, they're all in one piece, there's nothing to stick to those. Uh, they just kind of zip up at the front. Um, and then the boots, these are the boots, the trousers just tuck over the boots. They end up around here so you don't see any of this. Um, yeah, you'll, you, you'll figure that out. Um, I think that's that's it. Oh yeah, one more thing. There's a pair of uh, like earmuffs here, which uh, go around her ears, obviously, with this piece at the back. You probably know how to wear them. Um, and when she's got those on with the helmet on, it just makes it look like she's got some kind of... Uh, they used to have like a helmet liner uh, with speakers built into them, so it is a kind of similar... My idea was that this is like a more futuristic pared down kind of thing. Although now you'd probably just have... Uh, uh, sort of a really small earpiece, but it gives it that kind of classic sort of uh, astronaut look really, so you might might want to use that. Right, this is the uh, helmet, so this is what you really need to be careful with. Um, you need to be, it's pretty delicate basically. Um, so I've got some padding and stuff in here which should suffice just be careful when you transport it around and uh, make sure nobody drops it when you know when the box is being carried it should be fine right there's a few bits in here now this bit here you're not going to need I don't think because I used that at the beginning of my short film and uh, I didn't use it elsewhere um, so I, I don't think you're going to need that but basically if you want to use it you just have to say it looks it goes around the neck at the bottom of the helmet to kind of sort of meld into the rest of the suit um, but I don't think you're going to need that. Anyway, let me get all this light out. Okay, right, this is a um, weightlifting belt, which I've painted. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's Velcro uh, with the it's kind of... Actually, I don't think you'll use the Velcro bit. But that, that unsticks there, and it just kind of goes around there. It's a little awkward to put on, but basically that fills the gap, the seam of the jacket and the trousers. If you want to use it, you, you, you might not want to, but it, it's there anyway. It, it's kind of a nice seal. Okay, this thing here, um, this is just like a cover if you need to use it to conceal the back of this belt, 
when you join it together it will kind of come like that at the back and be a bit unsightly so you can use this bit I'll, I'll put it around there for you just to kind of cover it up but I don't think you're going to see it from the back are you but anyway uh, that's there actually before you put that uh, concealing piece of on uh, this here is just a bit of bandage uh, because I think where the back of that came, uh, back of that weightlifting belt comes together it juts out quite a bit so I just wrapped quite a lot of this around it you know just just around the actual join myself a few times uh, and that kind of kept it in place and and then I put that on uh, so yeah if you need that like I say I don't think you're really going to see the back of the belt probably if you're looking at boobs and stuff all the time but um <laughs> Um, but yeah, okay, so that you can use that bandage just to sort of tighten things up if you need it. Okay, right, this is this is the helmet, so I'll just take you through that. Um, there's uh, an inner neck piece. Let me show you that first. Yeah, so like this, you can you can put um, this is like a neck seal to go at the bottom uh, of the helmet, so. It goes on the inside of the helmet, though it won't go on the outside, uh, as I as I recall. I don't think it will, and that just kind of velcros at the back. Again, it's very delicate. It's made very quickly, um, so be careful when you're sort of sticking it and unsticking it. If I remember rightly, I think this just slipped over Rose's head. So I think uh, whoever's going to wear this, you could just stick it over their head. But it kind of looks a bit a bit better because at the bottom of the helmet, you've just got some tape. Uh, and, a, and a few bits, so because basically it just sits on the neck like that. Um, so if you were doing a topless, uh, this might be a little sore on the skin. You'd have to be careful. Don't think it could be on for too long because of the weight, and that might sort of just press into her skin a bit much. Um, but basically, uh, so yeah, here's the glass. Right, it doesn't move up and down. Right, that's that's as far as it goes. Right, so the visor doesn't move. That's because I've got a couple of clips on here. Okay, and uh, again, it's just for show. Was it's not, it's not that functional. And in space, you wouldn't raise the glass anyway, would you? <laughs> so um, right now, th obviously the glass is delicate. But what's real delicate is um, is this piece here. This is kind of uh, like some kind of resin, but it's really thin because it's really expensive to get done. Um, so this black piece strengthens it a bit, but this is the thing. I and mean, if you drop this, this would definitely shatter into a million pieces. Um, so, so that's what you need to be careful of, really. Um, I think there's like, a, yeah, there's some marks on the glass, but it's um, that's just like pen, and that's just a bit of glue. They won't come off. I already tried, so don't try and get anything off, and just, it'll look fine anyway. You might need to do some retouching, uh, which I expect you will anyway, but. Um, it should be fine. Uh, in there, there's a couple of um, LEDs. Let's get some focus on that. Bloody iPhone. Um, and there's there's one over that side as well. Um, so you can plug like a small battery into there, and uh, th these LEDs at the front will light up. I'm not sure whether you're going to need that. And if you're outside during the day, it's not going to work anyway. I would just put a lens flare on, Photoshop. There's a really good app for the Mac now, uh, which is like a lens flare kind of kit. So it's really, it'd be really good for, for stuff like this, so you can put stuff on afterwards. So yeah, so if you need that, let me know, and I'll forward you a link. Um, that's kind of about it, really. You can see it's pretty big. Um, so it should, it should look really good on. Um, yeah, I'd like to see the pics. If you could send me a pic, that'd, that'd be great. And my friend Richie in the States made the helmet I made the rest of the suit, so um, it'd be great to send him, a, have a pic to send him, uh, you know, if you use it and when you get them done and stuff, just so you can see. Um, and I think that's about it. Um, yeah, just keep it, I'll chuck some more padding in there, and then it should all be fine. All right, well, uh, yeah, okay. Have fun, Jenny, and uh, best of luck.